Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. Um, so Artistic Intentions sent me a couple paintings to um, collaborate on and add a little something of my own to. So here's one of them we're going to start with. And definitely check out her channel. I'll put the link down in the description. Um, and I think you can see the video where she made this painting and the other one that she sent me. But for those of you who have been following me for a while, probably know how much I love trees. So that's what's going to go on here. And we're going to just go ahead and get started. I think I'm going to probably speed this part up because it's not going to necessarily be a lesson on trees. But I'll just start by saying my first few tips. Um, so first of all, I always start small and then I make it bigger. Because if you start with a really wide trunk, well, you can't really make it smaller. You can only make it bigger. And this is just regular acrylic paint that I'm using. And then um, I do the, the larger branches first. And once again, start with just like a line. And I consider them kind of like an extension of the trunk. So they're not necessarily going to go straight out. They're going to kind of, it's not normally this curvy, but the kind of tree I'm doing is this curvy. But they're going to kind of just curve off of the main trunk. And then they are going to be generally a little bit bigger towards the trunk and then they thin out. So I'll normally add in my large brushes and then I'll go in there with a little detail brush. And that's when I can go and um, end off some of these branches. And I'll normally end them off in a V. So kind of like that. And then of course we'll add some on the sides here as we go. But there you go. So we're going to start with that. Okay, so I'm more or less happy with this tree. You can, of course, go crazy with the branches. I generally speaking think um, less is better. And now I have this um, stippling brush, and stipple means you're literally just doing this. It's pretty simple. And basically, I'm going to go ahead and add some flowers. Now, mind you, I'm not in any way, shape, or form saying that this is how you do this kind of tree. I am kind of going for the weeping willow kind of look, but you know, I'm not a tree expert <laughs> by any means. So, um, I, we're just going to basically stipple in a bunch of these. This is like a metallic teal color. Whoops. Um, it is Artist Loft. It's actually metallic cobalt blue. And then I'm going to also use some white and stip a little bit on there after. So we're going to just start with this. And this is a note too for anyone who really does want to learn how to do a tree. You don't have to just do it on the ends of branches because that makes no sense. So um, put some kind of in the middle as well because there's going to be branches that you just can't see. And we want to we wanna really fill this in. All right, so here we go. All right, so I think that's pretty good and filled in on that color. And if you notice too, because I didn't wait for the background, for the tree to fully dry, we got some of the black in there, which is perfect because it adds like a little bit of shading. So now we're just gonna go in here with a little bit of white. And I think I'm going to also possibly add something in over here like a moon. So I'm gonna just say my direction, my light source is kind of coming from this direction. So here we go with the white. Sorry guys, so unfortunately my camera cut out. Um, 
But what I did is I added a little grass down here and I'll show you, I just did it like this with my brush very gently. And then I also threw in a moon here, which I just added white to this brush. So I'm gonna do a little more on this. I uh, went and washed out the brush, which is when I noticed that my camera cut out. So I'm just gonna kind of stipple some white in here little bit more and then I think we're good. I want to fix this edge. Okay. Awesome. So I really like this. I'm going to think about it for just a second, see if there's anything else I want to do. And if not, we'll do our close up. All right, so I think we're good. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. We'll go ahead and we'll do our close-up. So first of all, check out the awesome background there. She has some really cool cells, which is what kind of inspired me to do this kind of tree, because it just seemed to fit. Um, here's my little moon. And then we come down here, little grass that I added in. Not really a lot. There you go. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Definitely check out Artistic Intentions on YouTube. Subscribe to her channel. Uh, I have one more collab that I'll be doing with her. She sent me two paintings. So I have to decide what I want to do on that second one. But that will be coming up. And otherwise, I will see y'all next time.